First, we have new information tonight on two of the seven students involved in that fiery car crash in Castine over the weekend that killed four of them. The state medical examiner's office is still working now to identify those who died, but they have been tentatively identified as Brian Keneally of York, Chase Fawcett of Gardner, Luke Simpson of Rockport, Massachusetts, and Riley Ignacio Cameron of Aquina, Massachusetts. Three other students, Noel Tavares, Dominic Jacoya, also of Massachusetts, and the driver, Joshua Goncalves Ratting of New York, were injured in the crash, but not critically. We learned today that Goncalves Ratting and one of the students who died, Luke Simpson, were stopped on that same stretch of shore road two months ago for speeding. According to a state police log entry dated October 9th, Simpson was the driver of that vehicle that was clocked going more than 90 miles an hour. That is double the posted speed limit. This past weekend's crash has hit the Maine Maritime community hard. And as New Center Maine's Sam Olson reports, the days and weeks to come will be difficult ones for those who knew them and midshipmen and faculty alike. A breath away is not far to where you are there's there's a like a there's a depressing mood over the whole place a place where students staff and faculty are mourning the loss of four of their own you know it's it's hard to express really but a loss for words and a feeling that those words may not come for a long time watching me from up it will take a while for this kind of um, immediate sort of shock and sadness to to um, it's a process Florence Young works at the Center for Grieving Children there's no magic words that are going to make uh, this sadness go away but she says reaching out to those struggling with loss offering them support can make them feel less alone. A lot of times I think people don't know what to do or say when they want to help. And frequently, Sam, it's um, listening. And listening is it can be the most important thing. Young urges those who are struggling to reach out for any kind of support they may need during this difficult time and reminds us all that grief is not a linear process. Folks might feel helpless or hopeless, and it's so hard to understand why this kind of awful accident could happen and to lose such uh, wonderful young people. Young people with their entire lives ahead of them. Sam Olson, News Center, Maine.